Hi guys, uh, Alex Newborn here. I did a video recently about how to fix the doors on a Walmart ghost trap, and um, it's gotten a lot of views, about 500 of them. I thought I would do uh, a shorter version of it with this new trap that my buddy John found, because um, in the other video, it was part of a longer demonstration of other things in my collection. So I kept having to tell people, oh, jump to this part right here for the relevant portion. So let's just do an all relevant portion how to change the doors out on the ghost trap all right so get all the cardboard off of there and get the pedal out one of the things that we want to talk about is the weird situation with the batteries on this item and what they have done is there's something about the switch that constantly drains the batteries so the first thing you'll have to do when you get it out of the box is remove the battery cover and replace the factory installed batteries with new ones. And that should help it out a lot. I can demonstrate right now. This thing is dead as a doornail. You just need a Phillips head screwdriver for this. This panel comes right off and these Natcon batteries, never heard of that brand before seeing this, but take them out. I'm gonna put some Duracells in just because that's what I had on hand. And I'm not gonna bother putting the battery cover back on. Already it's doing a lot better. Now, some people are doing stuff that's kind of extreme and rewiring the switch, but a lot of people are saying if you put the battery in between the on and off positions, because the off is the try me, that if you put it right in the center of those two, then you have turned the battery completely off, but it's not in the try me off position, which is what's draining the battery. Let's go to the on position. So again, you want to park it right in the center there. All right. Now, the other problem you can see with this one is that the doors are not shutting completely. And it's a very, very simple fix. They just pop out. Uh, you want to bow them slightly in the center, remove them, bow, and remove. And you see these white gears down here? That's what the problem is. You just have to get these black teeth on the back side of the trap door to align into those teeth so that it sits flush when it's in the shut position. I've got one back in and I'm gonna put the rear one back in. Now they are flat, put this in the on position It's just that simple. Uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, use a, use a screwdriver to push down on the teeth and whatever. No, 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 don't. Just, this doesn't require any tools aside from the one that you need to take the batteries out. Uh, so don't forget, when you're gonna leave it for a while, either take the batteries out or put the switch in the middle position and that should conserve battery life. Thanks for watching.